हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस फोर फॉर्म्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज वन अपॉन ए प्लस बी साइन एक्स सेकेंड वन इज वन अपॉन ए प्लस बी कॉस एक्स थर्ड वन इज वन अपॉन ए साइन एक्स प्लस बी कॉस एक्स एंड द लास्ट वन इज वन अपॉन ए साइन एक्स प्लस बी कॉस एक्स प्लस सी इफ यू जस्ट सी इन द डिनोमिनेटर इन ऑल ऑफ दिस in the first term we have the sin in the second we have the cos in the third one we have sin as well as the cos and in the last term is sin cos and plus we have some constant that is the c okay so how to evaluate this kind of problems okay also if you just notice we have sin x cos x only that is the single angle we have okay well uh, we are also going to study this forms that is 1 upon a plus b sin 2x cos 2x and this all this four terms now in all of this four terms if you just see in the denominator we have got the double angle okay that is sin 2x cos 2x in each of these forms okay so first we will see that how to evaluate this kind of integral where we have sin x and cos x the single angle okay so the first step is you have to substitute put tan x upon 2 is equal to t then we have to perform some steps and then we will get the value of dx now how to get how we will get the value of dx i will solve the question you will get to know about that okay after the substitution of tan x by 2 then you have to replace whether it is your sin x whether it is your cos x you have to replace the sin x with 2t upon 1 plus t square and you have to replace your cos x as 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square okay so if your question got sin x you can use the sin x if your question got both sin as well as the cos you can use both of them okay then this form this four forms here the substitution is little bit different here we are going to use only tan x okay only tan x is equal to t after again doing this some sort of calculations you will get dx as 1 upon t square dt okay i'll show this in the problem and you have to replace sin 2x and cos 2x by 2t upon 1 plus t square and 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square if you can just see the sin 2x and cos 2x the substitution and sin x cos x substitution both are just the same the only difference here is we are doing this as x by 2 here and here we have only x okay so just remember this just don't forget okay now the first question that we are going to solve here is 1 upon 2 plus cos x minus sin x now the angle just check out the angle we have the single angle cos x minus sin x okay and along with that we have some constant 2 okay so how to evaluate this again we will use the same steps that i have mentioned we will substitute put tan x upon 2 equals to t okay now how we will get the value of dx i'll solve in this just check out okay so first of all what you can do here is find the value of x so put uh, we have substituted put tan x by 2 is equal to t take tan on the other side that becomes tan inverse of t okay then on the left side you will left with x by 2 so the value of x becomes 2 tan inverse of t okay now we will just differentiate on both of this side that gives you dx is equal to 2 1 upon 1 plus t square dt the differentiation of tan inverse is 1 upon 1 plus t square so overall the value of dx comes out to be 2 upon 1 plus t square dt hope you understood how we got the value of dx okay now also you have to mention that you are going to use the substitution of sin x as 2t upon 1 plus t square and the substitution of cos x will be 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square okay so after doing all of this calculation let's just substitute it so the value of dx the value of dx will be 2 upon 1 plus 1 plus t square dt okay and here it will be 
2 plus the value of cos x is 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square okay minus 2t then here it is 1 plus t square okay after doing this you can just do the LCM okay I will take this part here this is the separate part of with DT you can do the LCM you can multiply the denominator as well as divided by 1 plus t square so that gives you 2 1 plus 1 plus t square plus 1 minus t square minus 2 t the whole upon 1 plus t square okay then this denominator will come in the numerator so that becomes 1 plus t square the whole upon you can just multiply the 2 inside so 2 plus 2 t square plus 1 minus t square minus 2 t into 2 upon 1 plus t square dt okay now 1 plus t square 1 plus t square will get cancelled so you are left with 2 upon 2t square minus t square gives you t square okay minus 2t and this 2 plus 1 gives you 3 dt okay so overall we have come across the quadratic form again 1 upon t square minus 2t plus 3 okay so the first step of this quadratic form is to find your third term okay so the value of third term let's see that is half into coefficient of t which is minus 2 the whole square the 2 and 2 will get cancelled we are left with minus 1 the whole square which is 1 okay so that will give you i is equal to we'll take 2 outside of the numerator 1 upon t square minus 2t plus 1 you have to do because it is a third term so first you have to add it then you have to subtract it okay so if you just see we have added the plus 1 then we have subtracted the minus 1 and this 3 we have to write it plus 3 dt okay so that gives you integration 1 upon you have to write this as a t minus 1 the whole square if you can just check it out this is nothing but t minus 1 the whole square and this is 3 minus 1 which is plus 2 dt now in the next step you have to write both of this in the form of a square so t minus 1 the whole square plus root of 2 the whole square dt so this gives you the special integral formula of 1 upon x square plus a square okay so the formula is 1 upon a a stands for here as the constant that is root of t tan inverse of t minus 1 upon root of plus c so 2 upon root of 2 that gives you root 2 tan inverse t minus 1 upon root 2 plus c we have got the uh, you know substitution okay and doing all of this we have completed this part but what we left here is the resubstitution so we will do the resubstitution as tan inverse and the value of t the value of t is nothing but tan x by 2 okay minus 1 upon root of 2 plus c okay so overall this is your final answer that we have got hope you understood this first kind of a problem now we'll move on to the next problem which is based on the double angle okay so here it is i is equal to integration 1 upon 2 sin 2x minus 3 dx now if you just look out in the denominator we have only got one term but that too in the double angle form okay so it does not matter we have to follow the same steps again but here you have to do the substitution as tan x okay so tan x is equal to t so x will be tan inverse of t okay then you have to differentiate this 
so this will give you dx 1 upon 1 plus t square dt okay after doing this also you have to replace the sin 2x as 2t upon 1 plus t square okay now we are we don't have the cos term to replace it so we don't have to write the formula for the cos okay now we will do the substitution so instead of dx we will write 1 upon 1 plus t square dt and this will be 2 the value of sin 2x will be 2t 1 plus t square minus 3 okay now if you just do the lcm because here we have the 1 3 upon 1 we have to multiply in the numerator as denominator by 1 plus t square so that gives you let's check it out that gives you 4 t minus 3 1 plus t square the whole upon 1 plus t square multiply it with 1 upon 1 plus t square dt okay now 1 plus t square will come in the numerator and that gives you 4 t minus 3 minus 3 t square 1 upon 1 plus t square dt this will get cancelled so we are left with 4 t minus 3 minus 3 t square dt okay so this is the final quadratic term that we have got now what you can do we can take this minus 1 by 3 so that gives you t square okay minus 4 by 3 t and this would be plus 1 okay so again we have got the quadratic term in the denominator so the first step is find the third term half into coefficient of t which is minus 4 by 3 the whole square so that you can just cancel this by 2 so we have got minus 2 by 3 square which is 4 upon 9 okay so we have got the third term we will add 4 upon 9 and then we will subtract it okay so that will give you minus 1 by 3 integration 1 upon t square then it is minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 t plus 4 by 9 then minus 4 by 9 okay then we had only plus 1 you can just check okay you can check it over here we have plus 1 okay now this whole term can be written in the form of a square that gives you t 2 by 3 with the minus sign in between what you have to do take the square root of the first term t square that gives you t square root of the third term that is 4 by 9 which is 2 by 3 and take the sign of a middle term which is minus the whole square then again you have to do the lcm here that gives you 9 minus 4 which is again 5 so 5 upon 9 dt okay now write both of this term in the form of a square that gives you t minus 2 by 3 the whole square plus root of 5 by 3 the whole square dt okay so this again give you the special integral formula for tan inverse which is nothing but 1 upon constant which is root of 5 upon 3 tan inverse of t minus 2 by 3 upon root of 5 upon 3 plus c now this will get cancelled so we are only left with i is equal to minus 1 upon root 5 tan inverse you can do the lcm again here so that gives you 3 t minus 2 upon 3 in the numerator and this is in the denominator this 3 and 3 will get cancelled so we are left with minus 1 by root 5 tan inverse 3 t minus 2 plus c also divided by root 5 okay 
now we can just resubstitute this so the value of t the value of t would be tan x minus 2 upon root of 5 plus c so this is the value of i that we have got okay this was the question hope you understood this two kind of the form okay i have covered it up in the same video so that you it will be easier for you to relate it okay so practice it and also thanks for watching this video make sure that you go through all of this and if you have any doubts just let me know in the comments section below okay subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a good day